talked about three properties okay and those three properties were completeness reflexivity and transitivity and what did we say that if our preference satisfies these three properties then we can talk about our choice our selection of a particular bundle of good in consistent fashion and i had also given you an example if preference doesn't satisfy a particular property transitivity then in a way you will be losing money that i had shown you so before we begin new thing i want to satisfy that a mathematical i want to describe a simple mathematical construct that what do what is preference we talked about it in economic sense let's talk about it in mathematical sense for just few minutes can we call preferences a kind of relation what is a relation by the way if you don't know about it it would not hamper your understanding of next topic but if you understand this it is fine the relation is nothing but a subset of cartesian product what is cartesian product x multiplied by y where x and y are two different sets okay here what we are doing we are picking two elements from conjunction set these two elements represent two different conjunction bundles okay and so i can say that we are talking about a very particular kind of relation that is defined on x multiplied by x or in other word this preference is defined on set x and what does it mean defined on set x means this is a subset of x multiplied by x the relations are very simple like mohan is a brother of sohan so it's a relation set mohan is related to sohan or romeo loves juliet it's a relation set okay so we are trying to represent those relationship using mathematical notation so here we are talking about preferences in terms of particular mathematical relation what kind of relation that a set an element of a set is related to the same element or the another element of the same set okay we are not changing the set so conjunction set is remaining the same fine and we talked about three that this particular relation should satisfy three different properties completeness reflexivity and transitivity so we say just a definition just a definition that i am going to use we say when a preference relation satisfies these three relations then we call this preference relation rational when a preference relation or of course we are talking about or any relation which satisfies these three axioms then we call that relation rational rational okay so to satisfy rationality in economics when i say that mr x has rational preferences or in short mr x is rational what do we mean that mr x preference satisfies completeness reflexivity and transitivity acts okay these leads to rationality let me ask you forget about economics for a moment 
when we talk about rationality in day to day life, what do we mean? What do we mean when we say that Mr. X is rational? Every decision we take is for our benefit. I'm not, I'm not think, for? Our benefit. For, okay, you are talking about yourself. So, you are rational when you take a, all the decision for your own benefit. I would say that term would be, people would say that, okay, you are a selfish person, so not a rational he's person. He's logical. Huh? He's logical. Someone who is logical, then he is called? Rational. Rational. Someone who is sensible, someone uses reasoning to reach to a decision, or someone who has sound judgment, okay? Then we call that person rational in our day-to-day -day life. But in economics, what we are saying? Mr. X is rational if his preferences satisfy completeness, reflexivity and transitivity properties. So are these two the same thing or they are different? 